too cloudy with a chance of sprinkles. Today we are going to be making this super cute bunny butt out of this giant geo heart mold. It's going to be so much fun. I see this all over like Instagram and YouTube. I'm probably like super duper late to the trend, um, but I'm really excited about it. So we'll take this heart, we'll flip it upside down, we'll put a cotton tail on it. It'll be a bunny butt and then whatever you want to put underneath these things because they're going to be hollow is like the possibilities are endless. You can put candy underneath, you can put, I got like hexicles we can put underneath, all sorts of different things. You put money underneath, money, money. Um, so it's gonna be so much fun. So what I'm gonna be using today is this breakable heart mold. You can find them on Amazon. I'll link it down below. White candy melt from Hobby Lobby, of course. Um, I'm gonna use fondant to make the little feet for the booty. Um, you want to put underneath it's gonna be super fun so let's get started okay so what I just did is I put almost the whole bag of candy melts in just a little Pyrex it doesn't matter what you melt your candy melts in do like 30 second increments in the microwave stir it around and then when they're all melted you're ready to go I don't know how much chocolate this thing needs because this is my first time working with it so if I need more, I'll just melt more. Uh, but we're gonna fill this puppy up, not all the way, you know, just gonna coat around it and whatnot. And then it'll go in the fridge, chill for a little bit. We'll put a nice little extra layer, especially around the edges to make sure it doesn't crack when we pull it out of the mold. And then we will have our base of our bunny booty. it's not too thick of a layer otherwise like you're not even gonna be able to crack it open you know because you want to be this is supposed to be breakable if it's like so much ooh, here, chocolate pooled at the bottom you're not gonna be able to break it ain't gonna be a breakable heart it's just gonna be a solid chocolate heart all right first layer is in i think this is good yeah this looks good wants to come out. I see it wants to come out. It's like too much. Alright, and then we're gonna refrigerate this baby and then bring her back out for another thin coat. The heart is nice and solid. Um, the edges, I'm just gonna go around and kind of get some chocolate on the edges there. Reheat your chocolate a little if you need. And I'm just gonna reinforce the sides. I really don't need like a layer in the bottom because it's super thick in the bottom because that's where everything pulls up at. So I'm just trying to, I can reinforce the sides. The heart is solid is the moment of truth. We are going to get this out of the mold. I'm so nervous. Okay, so we're gonna just peel it away. Wool well, wool well here. Kinda detach this baby from the edges. Ooh, gosh. This cracks, you guys. Okay, now this is how I see people do it. We're gonna we're gonna flip it upside down. We're gonna have a little cutting board here, and we're just gonna peel the mold away. Oh! <laughs> Back to 
back to the beginning, guys. So we need to make the feet of the bunny. So I rolled out some fondant here um, with my little fondant rolling pin. Use powdered sugar to have it not stick. And I'm just gonna try and cut out some little paw shapes. So let's see how this goes. need to look like paws so they need the little pink paw prints so I've got some Everclear mixed with some food coloring probably need a little bit more pink food coloring but we'll see how this goes oh that's super that looks really good <laughs> wonderfulness together we have our giant heart that I'm afraid to touch and these are my little carrot cake sickles that are gonna go underneath it it's gonna be so cute we have our feet we have our cotton tail that's gonna cover up my mess ups it's perfect and I need to melt down chocolate to stick everything together okay I melted down chocolate and now we're actually ready so I'm just gonna kind of like place these where I want them. The feet are like different sizes. That's okay. So it makes this little baby unique. Okay. I'll do it like that. And like that. That's so cute. Okay. Now let's stick everything on there with chocolate. So I'm gonna just spit a little chocolate chocolate there. Probably don't want too much because you want it to stick but not slide around. Maybe I can multitask. This is the dangerous thing, guys. These little babies, 
would go underneath it. I don't know how many can fit. I'm just gonna, let's see here. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? Like here's a little bunny butt. Can you some kids? Oh my goodness, this is so cute. I'm so excited. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna do that one more time. Oh, I broke the stem of my carrot. Of course I did, guys. You should have more patience than me because I keep messing everything up. Oh, but this is super cute. Oh my gosh, how adorable. So easy to, as long as you don't break it like I did. And we did it. I'm so excited. I'm gonna put this in a cute box with some grass, like Easter grass. It's gonna be so cute. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. Thank you for watching today, guys. This was so fun. Don't forget if you like this video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you have not yet so you never miss out on our fun, super fun baking videos. And I will see you next time on Cloudy with a Chance of Sprinkles.